Hey, what's up? I'm God. This is Seven Mortal Sins. Welcome back. Uh, we're doing some more Vortex of Torment today. Just doing another Vortex and Chill kind of kind of day. Just kind of felt like playing the game, just relaxing a little bit. Uh, so since the last video, uh, I've cleared out all of the tech stuff, uh, and then I came up here and cleared out pretty much all of the agility stuff. I'm on the three extra uh, stages here. So I want to do those uh, and then see how far we can get in on the strength side. Uh, so I got 15 keys. Let's see what we can do with that um, and go get some more keys if I feel like it. Uh, if I feel like playing a little bit more, getting some more of these juicy rewards. Um, but yeah, let's take a look at what's going on over here on the agility side. It looks like we got the same, you know, super speed, super HP, super attack. Um, let's see, which one gives me more keys? This one here? Okay, so that is the very high HP one. But if I remember right, if it's anything like the one down here, they're all going to be kind of slow. So we can take advantage of that. Um, let's see, let me take a look at enemy team comps, oh, Michael here is going to be annoying, uh, I mean we could bring like some anti, um, all damage reduction, uh, cause we do have to take three strength characters in here, we can probably come in with, um, Chaco Asta, um, else we got here. Like look at these HP values. Wow, almost 200,000. Alright. Um, speed wise, they're not looking too bad. We should be able to take those. Alright. <clears throat> so strength characters. We can go... Uh, let's go Lucy, Belial, Chaco Asta. We can even bring our own Sariel to kind of reduce their HP a little bit. That should be helpful. And then, um, let's see here. Who else do I want to bring? Uh, oh, do I? I oh. Vortex started after I got Bride Levy. Dude, if I could bring Bride Levy in here and just chunk them with that HP damage, that true HP damage, that would be sick. Um, but let's, let's go ahead and bring Christmas Satan and see how that goes. If we feel like we're gonna fail, we can always back out. Doesn't use our keys. Then we can try again. Should we hit it on auto or? Oh. Okay, I guess it's already on auto. I thought, thought it would start on manual, but guess not. Uh, and it looks like Satan got hit by Michael's stun, so she didn't get to go. I think Lucy also did as well. Mm, maybe we should do this on manual, just so we can take out the Sariel and the uh, Maman first. Okay, it looks like now they're going after him. Okay, uh, and then hopefully Chaco Asta comes in with that all damage reduction removal. Um, I don't know what skill she's on or what skill that is. Oh, looks like it's gone. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Shouldn't have any problem clearing within the time limit. Or the turn limit, I guess. Uh, yep, there we go. Looks like we took a little bit of damage. Sounds like someone's pinging me on Discord. Okay, so we got some more keys. That's cool. So that was basically a free stage. Um, Deathmatch, this is the one with extra attack. Let's kind of see what we're going up against here. Okay. Um, Uriel. OK, 
Okay. Then we got Harvest Maman and Asmodeus. Okay, okay. So I don't think any of these guys have damage reduction. Um, da, 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 da. I think Uriel might, but I don't remember when or if she gets that. But um, we're just going to kind of go in, kind of keep them pinned down. I'm almost wondering if I even need to bring Chaco Asta here. Can I, can I swap her out for somebody else? Like Panagia, maybe? We can give Panagia a shot. I only have like four heavily invested reds anyway. Um, yeah, we'll see how this goes. We'll see what happens. I'll just go in, expect the worst, hope for the best. Alright, I think we're gonna be on auto again. Lucy's going first. And hit everybody. They're all immune to CC, so that stun doesn't matter. Lyle's coming in, reducing some speed. Alright. And then Xmas Satan. So, fun fact uh, move gauge decrease does not count as CC. So, even if somebody's immune to CC, you can still smash their move gauge, you know, assuming that there's no, like, sort of steady effect on the opponent's team. So that's that's one way to play around um, CC immunity, you know, you just keep them down uh, with their move gauge anyway. Yeah, cool, we got that. Um, and then next up is the the super speed stage. So the last one, uh, I think I did off screen. I just brought Cherry Seer to, um, because I think it says here um, that they gain move gauge boost. So you can just kind of shut that down with a headwind. Um, and I think that's what I'm gonna do this time around as well. Uh, we can swap out um, Sariel here. Um, and I don't know if I want to keep Panagia. I can, I can probably keep her. Uh, and then stick uh, Cherry Seer in here for the headwind. Where is she at? she's not dead. No, just Chino's dead. I know I brought her. Why? Oh, <laughs> literally the first character. Um, looks like she's a little low on HP. Hopefully she doesn't get hit. Uh, check out the speed on these characters here. They're all sitting at about 22, 23. Um, well, we're gonna give it good old-fashioned college try and see what happens here. Alright. Okay, so we're slower. Okay. Huh, 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 huh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, but I think Panagia might have got hit and healed up Cherry Seer a little bit, so that's kind of nice. Okay, so the move gauge reduction. Okay, Belial's reducing speed a little bit. Okay, and it looks like Esmir is going down here. And I don't think anyone has any sort of um, revive on the team now. I think Esmira was the reviver, so that should be okay. And, yup. We are good to go. Yeah, for those stages, if you just kind of shut down their um, their uh, move gauge buff that they get, uh, it makes things a lot more manageable. Um, I'm not too sure who else opens with Headwind, but Cherry Seer is definitely the best character that I have for that utility. And let's see, 
so that's the entire agility side cleared. Let's move on over to the strength side. Um, let's see. Desire is the one that heals, right? So I don't want to do that one just yet. Uh, we can't get to hope yet. We kind of got to go through these. So it looks like ordeal is going to be our next one. All right, so this one freezes all allies for two turns. And we have to bring three tech type casts. Okay. Uh, well, tech type is probably my weakest on my account. Um, but I'm gonna just bring the best ones I got, I guess. Uh, we can go... We can just bring someone that's freeze immunity, right? Um, so let's go Maman, Jen Sandy, and then I'm pretty sure I brought... Yes. Whatever your name is, Zoe. Okay, so that's gonna give my team freeze immunity, uh, start of battle. Um, and then let's bring some, some agility, some blues, to kind of get in there for weakness damage. I'm thinking we go with, well, let's check the speed, see if we need to bring Sariel. Nah, we should be okay without Sariel. These guys are kind of slow this early in the stage. Um, so we can focus more on damage. Let's go with uh, Xmas Satan. Um, and uh, we could bring Levy, I'm leaning towards Levy. We also bring Michael, um, but I don't think any of Michael's stuff will trigger because this is just Summer Lucifer. Um, yeah. All right, I'm gonna bring Levy. Let's see what happens. <clears throat> Since the stage only costs one key, it shouldn't be too hard. Should be pretty easy, pretty manageable. to auto it pretty quick and easy. <laughs> yep, almost everyone's dead just from Maman's turn. Okay, we just uh, Astaroth left, and there she goes. Okay. Right, so, kind of take a look at what the next one is. Okay, so here... Inflicts power attack seal and special move seal on all allies. I don't know if I have anybody to counter that. Um, I almost want to say that OG Seer might work. I don't know if I brought her though. So I think OG Seer has a thing uh, at the start of battle that gets rid of debuffs. But don't quote me on that. Um, I mean, we could just bring Bub, right? Or Gunslinger Lucy. That should be fine. You know, I wonder if AI Lucifer's count is having this. Um. Pride mark. It doesn't look like it. So I don't I don't know if Michael will get any of her like extra like bonus stuff by fighting an AI Lucifer. Um, if you guys know, feel free to let me know. But I'm not sure that things work like that. So what do we bring as our last tech? Um, I mean, right, we could bring Summer Leviathan for that extra attack bonus. Um, da, 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 da. Are they immune to CC? Did it say that they're immune to CC? Because if not, we can just freeze the heck out of them, right? Da, 
da, da, da, da, da, da, da. Uh, you know what? Yeah, why not? Why not? We'll bring uh, we'll bring Summer Lovey. I know our like powered attack and stuff is sealed, but we'll just we'll just normie him to death and you know, kind of hope for the best. So Maman's going in with all of her follow-ups, getting some DOTs set up. Uh, hopefully we don't get charmed by... Oh, nope, he's dead, never mind. Uh, and Levy opening up with her S1 is perfectly fine. She gets all those follow-ups. Yep. We're good, I think. But yeah, that wasn't too much damage. Oh, stunned Maman, but... It's fine. Yeah, we got that true HP damage. Oh, okay. Christmas Satan just comes in and smacks. <laughs> okay. It's good. It's cool. It's fine. Uh, I do want to check something before we go into the next stage. Uh, also, I got to get more keys real quick, but... I want to take a look at OG Seer and see if she can get rid of like the power attack seal and stuff like that. Um, she should be here somewhere. Okay, here she is. So her passive, ritual purification before battle, all allies gain immunity to unstackable debuffs. So power attack seal and um, special move seal. I'm pretty sure are unstackable debuffs, so I would imagine that uh, Seer's passive ability here can block those for uh, Vortex stages. Kind of sad that I neglected to include her in my, my team, um, but let's go ahead and grab some more keys real quick. Uh, I think we needed three? or two for the next stage, and then uh, let's go ahead and grab seven, because if I get five, and then three, that should be able to get me through like a three cost uh, key stage, and then a five cost key stage. Okay, so I kind of want to do hope. Oh, this one's only two, so I guess I didn't even really need that. Um, but I mean, we could do hope and then desire. Um, I usually like to save desire for after these HP debuffing stages right here, like depravity. Um, so, I mean, maybe we'll just hit this one up and then we'll knock out these two. Like, I might need to go get like one more key maybe, or two more keys. Yeah, let's just go do that real quick. Go get two more keys. I'm okay with that. Doing it for the content, guys. Doing it for the content. Spending gems on on you guys because I, I like playing the game with you guys. Alright, so we got two more keys. Should be good to go to clear out three stages. Um, like we might even just... Well, no, we won't have enough to get Desire. We might have to do that later. Uh, hopefully they give out some keys for um, one of the logins today. That would be really nice. Okay, so this one we got Headwind and move gauge reduction. So if we bring someone with steady, we can get around the move gauge reduction. Um, and we have to bring three tech type casts. I don't know if I have any greens that have steady. So we're actually gonna have to bring probably chocolate Astaroth here. Um, and then just my best three greens, I guess. I'm really sad Chino's dead. She died on, uh, 
one of the other stages off screen. Um, so I guess we bring Bub, swap out Levy for Chocolate Astaroth to get around that move gauge reduction, and then we'll just go in. And maybe we'll get a uh, something Pog off the um, Blood Pact little boxy bag things there. That'd be super nice. But no luck on those yet. And we're still missing the, the shop um, that lets us actually use uh, the materials for uh, dismantling blood packs. Um, so I'm kind of hoping that shows up soon, because I've been pretty much dismantling all of the uh, lowest rarity blood packs, and I'm curious to see what's in that shop. I think, I think we're just going to get through this without uh, the enemies taking a turn, so... Yeah. There we go. Oh, what is this? Oh. Three UR packs. Okay. Well, I'll take those. Let's see what's on them. Because I still use UR packs on a lot of characters. Just because LRs are hard to come by. Okay, so let's see. Now we're on... Frailty, block revive, uh, removes all damage reduction. This is like basically nothing to me. We just go in with as much damage as we can handle. Yeah, there. It's like I don't, I don't care about block revive or whatever. I, mean, I feel like that's something um, OG Seer would also be able to prevent, but. We shouldn't be dying on this stage, I would imagine. They're a little, they're a little tanky. A little, a little beefy. Okay, and two down. Ghostwalker Belphegor still left here. Pretty sure Levy can take her out. Nope, guess not. Well, Ramon's got her. There we go. Nice and easy. All our bonuses. Uh, let's take a look at the next one. I think the next one is the obnoxious one where every time we take an action we lose 10% HP. This is the kind of stage that I really like having Chino for, for her regen. Um, but we don't have her anymore. Maybe... Huh. And we got Bub. Bub can heal. Maybe maybe we'll be okay. Uh, Maman's looking a little a little ragged there. But you know, she's got a good chunk. Ooh, what? Where's her HP? I could've oh, that's that might be her current HP. Not her max HP. If that's her current HP, she should be okay. Um, yeah, that's got to be current, right? Current HP, not not max. Hmm. You know, I wonder if um, if General Sandy's passive, the one that reduces damage, uh, kicks in with this kind of stage debuff. I I don't know. Okay, heal. It only heals one. That's unfortunate. Oh, I think Maman's gonna die. Are we gonna have to go buy a revive? That's a big feels bad, man. Oh, I think Levy might die too. Oh my god. Oh, oh there goes Maman. Oh. Jesus Christ. Um. I'm gonna turn this off, auto for it. That's, damn it! Too late. Too late. Fuck. <sighs> well, the rest of this is gonna be interesting, for sure. Um. 
God, I hate this stage so much. Uh, maybe we should have done this, but I, with as much damage as everyone was taking, I don't think it would have mattered. Um, yeah, not enough keys. I can't even check who's alive still. Dang, we lost two characters. We lost Levy and Maman in that last run. How much? How much are revives? Let's go find out how much revives are real quick. Two hundred gems. Um, I don't know if that's worth. Honestly, let me see if I can get anything. Ooh, kind of tempted to pick up this grimoire of Ryder right now, so I can dissolve it for a bat. Because I'm working on OG Levy's super evolution right now, but maybe we'll hold off. Just kind of see if we get some keys from from dailies. I think I think the event still has some more time left. Yeah, it goes until December 20th, so um, <clears throat> we got quite a few more days left. Six more days to clear this out. It's not bad. That's one, two, three, and then four, five, six stages. So six, then five, 10, 15, 20. But one of those is a free stage because it gives you five more keys. So that's what, 15 more keys? And you get three keys a day. Three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Yeah, oh yeah. There's there's plenty of time to clear it out with just um daily keys. Alright, but I think uh I think that's all the vortex I'm gonna do <clears throat> today. And then uh I think next time around I'm gonna go into Vortex with my alt, see what we can do in there. <clears throat> Should be interesting. For sure, I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to handle that with just Awakers, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.